Two Senate votes are scheduled in the next 48 hours that could end the partial government shutdown. This is hundreds of thousands of federal workers are scheduled to miss another paycheck this week. Nancy Cordes reports on day 32. Park police officers and FBI employees were among those in line at a pop-up food bank today. As the White House, a few blocks away, dealt with its own uncertainty over next week's State of the Union address. A White House aide emailing the sergeant at arms on Capitol Hill asking to hold a walkthrough meeting that was postponed last week after House Speaker Nancy Pelosi said the speech should wait until after the shutdown. White House officials tell CBS News some aides want the address to take place next Tuesday as planned, while others favor a rally outside Washington instead. The opportunity to end all this is staring us right in the face. With government workers set to miss their second paycheck this week, the Senate's Republican leader scheduled a vote for Thursday on the president's latest proposal. The bill includes Mr. Trump's wish for $5.7 billion in border wall funding. In exchange, some so-called dreamers, young people brought here illegally as children, would get three years of protection from deportation. Right. But House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, after dropping by the food bank, said the bill was no compromise because it was the president who eliminated those protections for dreamers in the first place. The president took it away and now he's saying, well, I'll give you this back temporarily if you give me a, a wall permanently. The FBI Agents Association warned today that the shutdown could lead some FBI agents to consider career options that provide more stability for their families. FBI agents should not have to go work at a store stocking shelves because they can't feed their families. I will acknowledge there are hardships. The president's economic advisor, Larry Kudlow, insisted most of the pain will be temporary. Once the government reopens, these resources and opportunities will come back, I mean, literally the day of. The president's proposal and a Democratic alternative both appear poised to fail in the Senate on Thursday. And so, Jeff, barring some major change, it does appear that hundreds of thousands of federal workers are on track to miss that second paycheck this Friday as a result of this funding fight. Nancy Cordes, thank you very much.